Uh, you know, giving all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rachah, and uh, double honors unto the apostles and the elders are great Muslim that rule well. And uh, peace, love, mercy, and salutations to the rest of the elect, the 144,000, all right, um, that are scattered, pushing the true doctrine of our Lord, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, and all sincerely in truth. And also Shalom to the rest of the one third, which consists of men, women, and children who believe in our Lord Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. All right, uh, Yahweh is the name of the Heavenly Father, and Yahweh Shai is the name of His beloved Son. All right, now you know first and foremost, as I uh, had mentioned in my previous video, you know Salakia for my low voice. I'm currently uh, ill, and so you know just trying to you know do this video, Lord Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, willing that it's edifying. Um, but I just wanted to get into this, uh, you know, topic of having the mindset of enduring until the end. Okay, we understand that, you know, we we are living in a very, um, you know, crucial uh, time in prophecy, and um, you know, with within the midst, there's going to be a lot of distractions. There's going to be a lot of things that could sway. All right, uh, you know, the beliefs of the masses. All right. Um, a lot of it, you know, has to go into the affliction in which is going to uh, come, you know, upon all the world to try them that dwell upon the earth. And so having the mindset to endure unto the end, all right, that is a mindset of, you know, the chosen, the elect, all right. And the Lord Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah will put that faith within those that be of the elect, okay. And, you know, you can't make yourself of the elect, but you can only hope to be of the elect and so you know in the midst thereof okay you got to constantly pray you got to fast all right and you know you constantly have to have the lord yahweh bash you know in your mind at all times man okay and so as things get more and more difficult the scriptures tells us okay you know the type of mindset in which we need to be in and the end goal is what uh to strive for the truth unto death okay because you know the times in which we're getting you know i'm um, closer and closer to okay you will be tested okay your flesh okay will be tested at all times and so your spirit okay has to be able to be in a level okay where you are not doubting okay you constantly you know and will have faith on the lord yahweh bash you know, to deliver you out of whatever situation that you know you will come across okay and so the truth just tells us in the book of revelation chapter 2 verse 25 but that which you have already hold fast to let come and why is the scripture telling us that it's because you're going to have a lot of people that are not going to hold fast okay in the things which they have okay and that thing okay in which you have that's the truth that's the name of the lord yahweh shared this doctrine this understanding of the scriptures not allowing okay you know fear all right to sway you from the belief of the lord yahweh shai and so the scriptures is telling you you already understand okay the truth you already know what the truth is you gotta hold fast unto it until yahweh bashim yahweh shai comes because he is coming right okay when you look at all the turmoil all the distractions happening throughout the frequency of the earth while this man is working at all times 100 percent day and night okay you see you understand prophecies man okay you see these prophecies are coming to pass every single day okay there's always something happening okay that links up to prophecy all right and so the scriptures is saying that but that which you have already hold fast till i come and he that overcometh and keepeth my works okay unto the end to him will i give power over the nations now how are you going to overcome okay the scriptures tells us that as yahweh shah had overcome okay we're also going to overcome okay but that's nothing that's just done by words okay this is action you got to put in the work if you lack faith in you know a certain area you got to pray for it as it says in the book of james okay non-wavering okay you got to understand that these miracles are going to happen man right before us okay and so the scriptures are saying that and he that overcometh and keepeth my works okay unto the end and that's the key right there the end okay you're gonna have a lot of people that might say this or that but when it all comes down to it okay you're gonna truly see how um their faith towards the lord yahweh bashim Shai is okay and so the scripture is saying right here and he shall rule them with a rod of iron okay 
this is, you know, the reward in which the Lord Yahweh Bashim Yahweh will give those men, okay, the 144,000, okay, the ruling government of the children of Israel to rule them with the rod of iron, okay, to establish righteousness in the earth, the law, statutes, and commandments of our Lord Yahweh Bashim Yahweh okay, as the vessel of what part shall they be broken to shivers even as I received of my father and I will give him the morning star okay he that hath an ear let him hear what the spirit saith unto the churches now let's get the book of uh, James okay I believe it's um, beautiful the book of James chapter 1 Okay, let's start from verse 1. It says, James, a servant of the Lord Yahweh Bashim Yahshai and of the Lord Yahweh Shaham Mashiach, to the twelve tribes which are scattered abroad, greetings, okay? My brethren, count it all joy when you fall into diverse temptations, okay? And so the scriptures is telling us to hold fast which we have unto the end. Why? Because diverse temptations is going to happen. It's inevitable, okay? And so when you hold fast and you keep your eyes single towards Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Okay, that's the beauty of it, man. Okay, that you will overcome. Okay, knowing this, that the trying of your faith worketh, worketh patience. You will be tested. But that's also building up your spirit, man. Okay, okay. But let patience have her perfect work, that ye may be perfect and entire, wanting nothing. That's right, because guess what? Our focus is towards the Habashim Yahushai. There's nothing that we will lack. Okay, and if. It says, if any of you lack wisdom, let him ask of the Lord. Okay? So if you do lack something, ask the Lord. That giveth to all men liberally, and upbraideth not, and is, and it shall be given him. Man. Okay? And the scripture tells us, what father, when his child asks him, okay, um, you know, of bread, and he gives him serpent. You know, just to roughly paraphrase. No father does that. So when you pray to the Lord Yahweh and you ask for more patience or wisdom and knowledge and understanding of the scriptures, okay, you know, endurance, all right, faith, etc., etc., okay, Yahweh will give that to you if you be sincere, okay? So let him ask in faith, nothing wavering, for he that wavereth is like a wave of the sea driven with the wind and tossed, okay? And I'm currently, you know, sitting in an area close to the waters, you know, and I can hear, okay, the waves. I can hear, you know, the winds tossing through, okay, you know, and, you know, it's beautiful because you can see, okay, that the Lord Yahweh Ba'ashim Yahushua wants us to be straight, okay, and not having one foot in, one foot out, doubting, okay, just not sure. Okay, you got to be sure with the Lord Yahweh Hashem Yahushai. Okay, it says, For let not that man think that he shall receive anything of the Lord. That's right. Why? Because you're double-minded. Beautiful. A double-minded man is unstable in all his ways. Okay, let the brother of low degree rejoice in that he is exalted. Okay? You see? But the rich in that he is made poor because as the flower of the grass he shall pass away, man. Okay? beautiful and so the scriptures is telling us man okay you lack something ask for it okay have patience in the thing in which you're going through okay understand that endurance will basically that's what it is man it's gonna take time patience faith okay yeah how will Bashim Yahusha will allow us to overcome if we allow ourselves okay to grow in the spirit man okay so with that, Lord willing, it was edifying. Until next time, Shalom. Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh, Shabbat, Barakatah.